Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva. I hope you guys are ready, okay? This home is absolutely beautiful and we're getting ready to tour this home in just a minute. I just need to give you a little pan. Okay, let's go see what this home is talking about. Okay, you guys, again, I'm out at Oakwood Homes in Greenville, South Carolina. This is the elite. She is some kind of pretty, four bedroom, two bath, all right? You've never seen a home like this on the Mobile Home Diva channel. Go ahead and soak it in. She's absolutely beautiful. I love even the color door they've given this home. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so you got this built-in front porch. I would probably extend this porch and make it bigger, but this is perfect just to start out with. Like you've got enough space here even to put some nice decor and uh, put your chair and a table out here. Make it real, real pretty. It's the fall season. I see pumpkins and a welcome sign out here. Just absolutely beautiful. Look at the lighting on either side of that beautiful front door. And you got a sneak peek. I love this side. This, this makes the door look wider, doesn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. This is a modular home. Hey family, just a quick disclaimer. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I tour these homes because I love touring manufactured and mobile homes. If you have any questions about pricing, specifications, finding this home, or any other questions, all the information that I have to contact the dealer will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. All right, and this is what you see when you walk in the door. So let's come in and take a spin around and see for ourselves where we enter. So right here is the front door, okay? This is what it looks like from this side. You've got this little nook here. I will put an entry table and a little lamp. So when I'm not home, I can leave that lamp, lamp on. You've got just this cute little cubby to make a nice entry. You've also got a coat closet, which is always a plus. You got a nice spacious coat closet, all right, that you can always also utilize for storage if you need to, really nice. All right, so that is where you enter. To the right of the front door is the dining room area. Beautiful. I'm just gonna let you take it in. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking. I mean, you can see what I see. I'm just gonna let you take it in. Look how beautiful this is. Beautiful. One thing I do wanna point out um, is the, it's so bright and spacious in here with these windows, okay? You've got this little cubby. You can either leave your barn doors open or you can close them. But look, you've got a wine fridge built in. So this would be a nice like little area for beverages. Maybe you don't drink, uh, but it would, or maybe you do. This would be a nice area for beverages all the way around. Okay, all the way around. If you, when you don't have company, you can even have your cappuccino maker or your coffee maker over here uh, and make this an all around beverage station. At least that is what I would do with it. <laughs> really nice. Really lovely. You've got drawers over here. So lots of storage space and look, soft clothes. Y'all saw that. Let me do it one more time soft clothes. I'm pretty sure this is not the way that you're going to leave the barn doors closed. I simply moved them over so that you could see the space that was behind the doors. This is an absolutely beautiful home and it has so much storage space that I just wanted you to get a feel for all the space that this area offers. So many nice features. I love those beams in the recessed part of the ceiling. The space that you over have over here for this huge uh, dining room table, really lovely. 
And I love this, this column here because it just kind of, it's open, but it gives us a separation too, right? Really nice. You have your living room area, three big windows that look out uh, onto the back. Be nice for uh, company. When you have company over, you can look out and see the kids playing or your company that's outside around the grill on your big deck. It's just, just an entertaining space, right? Really lovely. Nice size uh, couch right here. So it just gives you an idea of how much space you have there. Beautiful ceiling fan as well. Look at the detail in that. Really nice. All right, so past the living room, you have this kitchen. Again, we have these columns here. This space is open, but also it gives it separation. Look how large the counter is. You've got four bar stools right there. Look at all the pantry space you have over here. All of this pantry space around the refrigerator. You've got a microwave and an oven over here next to the refrigerator. You've got a pot drawer under there. Really lovely. Love all the pantry space. All right. Over here, you've got all of this counter and cabinet space under your uh, under your ceramic top stove. Uh, you've got more pot drawers. Really lovely. And look at the glass, the frosted glass in these two cabinets. Look how tall this cabinet is, though. Four shelves, you guys. Four. Love it. Love the hood that matches the stainless steel. These are Whirlpool appliances in here. Cabinets go all the way around. You've got more frosted glass over here in the end cabinet and the corner cabinet. Really nice. Really nice. Love the backsplash. And did you take note of just how many outlets you have in here? Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven outlets just in this area. Really lovely. And then if you look at the island where your sink is, you've got one, two, three outlets over here. So beautiful. Love the unique shape of this eye of this island. Even though your sink is in this part of the island, in no way does it take away from the island space up here. So when you're doing the dishes, you can be talking to the kids, to your husband, to your company, to your girlfriend that stopped by to have a glass of wine with you. You could absolutely continue to work in your kitchen and cont and also entertain. So really pretty. Over here, you've got this back door that would lead out to your gorgeous deck. Not gonna open it because there's nothing back there, but that is really nice, really nice. So we're gonna go this way. So you've got this bonus room over here. Look at this, this could be a den, really lovely. I'm gonna go back over here and span the room. This is a nice space. So I could see a big TV in here, maybe a fireplace under there. Really nice. It also has a ceiling fan in here. So pretty. And then you've got this little cubby over here for whatever you like. Really nice. This doesn't necessarily have to be a den, though. This could be the kids' school room, playroom. Like, this is on the side where your additional bedrooms are. So, this could be school room, playroom, just craft room, multi-purpose room, whatever you need it to be. But it's a really lovely, really lovely space. Really nice. So, off of this room, you've got your laundry room. So, this is how big this space is so your washer and dryer will go here okay that's the space for your washer and dryer but you also have this closet here okay 
So you've got space for storage in there. Does it have an outlet? No outlet in there, but it has an outlet on this wall. So you could have room for uh, a deep freezer if you wanted it in here. And you've got a big window, so it brings in lots of lighting. Really lovely. And there's a door. So if you have company in there, you can absolutely close that door and they don't have to see the piles of dirty clothes that you have in this room. Now, let's take a look at the additional bedrooms. Here's one off the den, but we're gonna go around here and we'll start back here. Again, this is a four bedroom, so you're gonna have three bedrooms on this side. We'll call this bedroom number one. Turn on the light so you can see. Nice size bed, bedroom. Big window in here, bringing in the light. And there's your closet. Sorry about the smoke detector, you guys. This is a model home. So, so this is what we'll call bedroom number one. All right. Next to bedroom number one, you've got your bathroom, your additional bathroom. Love the little wall that separates the sink from the toilet because you got a little privacy over there. You've got that transom window over your built-in tub and shower. Nice deep tub, really nice. Look at this big window, uh, excuse me, mirror over your sink, really, not, really nice. All right, next to the bathroom, you've got your bedroom number two, another nice size bedroom. I'll go in and give you a view from this end. Really nice. So this is bedroom number two. Bedroom number two. So I'm back in the den. You've got around this corner, bedroom here, a bathroom here, bedroom there. And then on into the den, you've got your bedroom number three right here. So this is a smaller of the three bedrooms, but it's still a decent sized room. I would be comfortable in here. <laughs> I would definitely be comfortable, but if you don't have the bodies for all four, this is a nice size for an office. So let me show you again, bedroom number three. All right, very nice. All right, so we'll give you a pan again of this bonus room. And what you see off of this room. So let's like take a look at the upstairs. Now this appears to be unfinished, but we're gonna go upstairs and see what it looks like. If you have questions about finishing this home before you purchase, or uh, if the home builder will assist with that, again, their information is going to be in the description box. Look at all of this space, you guys. So you guys, I just wanted to make a special uh, note here that the details of purchasing this home with this unfinished space is really a question that you would uh, direct to the dealer. Again, this home is at Oakwood Homes in Greenville, South Carolina. I did want to share the space with you, but if you have any questions about this space, about this home, about finishing the space, if they will do it, if you have to get someone to do it, all of those questions can be answered by calling the uh, phone number in the description box below. I've also included their website as well as their Facebook page in the description box below. Okay. All right. Now let's get back to the video. All right. We'll pan the living room again and then... 
we'll take a look at the master. So the master's here off the living room, just to give you an idea where we are. That is the front door, okay? You've got your master over here. This is your master. So all of this space is master. I'll come over here and turn around. This is master. All right, then through here, you got your master bath. This is what you see when you're walking in. You've got storage space here, your sinks. You've got this additional space in the middle. You could do makeup there, just the extra cubby hole. Give it a nice spa feel with some roll towels. You've got plenty of storage space. You've got a window that opens right there. Really lovely. So that's your sink, your two sinks, and all of that storage space. Now, behind on the opposite side of the two sinks, you also have this storage space, okay? So if you didn't want a dresser, you have dresser drawers in here. So you could absolutely make like a sitting area in your bedroom and not have like the dresser and chests of drawers, the traditional furniture because you've got enough storage in here. This is your uh, toilet room in the master. And then this huge shower with the transom window is also yours in the master. Look at the space in here. What a lovely, lovely shower. Look at all of this. I can lay down in there. I've done it in another video. I'll do it again, you guys, if you don't believe me. Okay, you've got handheld uh, shower head as well as the rain shower head in the ceiling. Really lovely. That is next to, I feel like I didn't get a, a good job of showing you the whole layout. So that is next to the double six, okay? Let's go back to the door and really give you an, a feel. So when you come in, you got your double sinks over here, your showers at the end, and you got this space and the toilet room behind. And then on the other side of this cabinet space, you have your master closet. I don't know if the light, oh, the light works. So all of this space is master closet, okay? So the master closet starts here. All of this is master closet. I love that they made good use of the shelves in here, right? They didn't skimp on the shelving. And then if you come around, I don't know what my gimbal is doing. So you got more space shelving over here, okay? So let's do pan one more time. All of this is your master. Really lovely. Really lovely. Really beautiful. This home is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Like, if you have any questions about this home, if you want the price, uh, if you want to ask questions about the layout, any changes that you would like to make to the home, Whatever questions you have, all of the information to this home will be in the description box. Again, this is Oakwood Home, four bedroom, three bath. The name of the home is The Elite. The price of this home as is, is $338,365. If you have any questions about the price, any upgrades, or anything about the home you'd like to change, please know that the cost of the home is subject to change. Again, you can contact Oakwood Homes in Greenville, South Carolina for any information regarding this beautiful home. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Again, this is the Mobile Home Diva. I'll see you in the next video.